Shout out to YouTube. You know who it is. Chris Jones. Representing Park Chase's man. I'm about to go train some delts and arms. Uh, I made some uh, some small changes to my delt training. And it's been a while since I posted a shoulder video. I've done arms recently. I believe I've done chest recently. I need to give y'all a good back workout. And I'm obviously a good shoulder workout. Damn, I haven't even given y'all a leg workout. I've been slacking, man. Hey. What do y'all want to see next? One of my leg workouts, man, for some leg day motivation? Or you want to see a back day? And do you want it raw? Or do you want the commentary with the music? Let me know. Comment below, man. And I'm about to put a scoop. Where my shit? Damn. A pump and grind pre-workout. I'm almost out. Speaking of almost out, we just restocked pump and grind pre-workout. So be sure to go to tigerfitness.com. Link is in the description and get you 30 of those bitches and you already know I appreciate everybody up there supporting me, man. So go ahead and put uh, about half a scoop. I don't need much. As you see, I'm pretty energized already. So it's going to go with half a scoop. Go ahead and shake that bad boy up. All right, guys. So I'm here sipping on my pre-workout. I'm getting my mind connected with the shoulders, guys. I'm getting my mind. <laughs> Engaged into my delts. Okay, I'm becoming one, one with my shoulders, guys. Today is delts and arms day, but as you know, delts is a weak point for me. Therefore, I'm getting my mind engaged into the shoulders, sipping my pre workout, reflecting on my life. Okay. Now, as you know, I do delts and arms. If you follow my four days on one day off program, I do delts and arms together. Now, I've made some slight changes to my delt training, which is why I'm giving y'all the delt video. But keep in mind, guys, after I do all this delt shit, I'm not going to record the arms. I just want to make this video solely about delts. Follow my four days on one day off program. You're going to like it. Give it a try. All right, homies and home mates, you've been following me a little while. You already know about two weeks ago, I did a video on rear delts. And this is one of the exercises right here. Go watch that video. Matter of fact, at the very bottom of the description, I'm going to have this routine written down. And also, I'm going to have the link to the rear delt video because I'm not going to go into depth twice in the same fucking month. So click on that video if you want me to go in depth on form. But the other exercises I do, I will give you depth on form. That's why I'm going raw today. All right, so here we go. 12 reps, 12 to 15 reps. All right, baby, so here we go. Fourth and final set, triple drop set to really burn the fuck and pump the fuck out of these rear delts. Why am I doing rear delts first? Why not the pressing motions first? Oh man, to be honest with you, I just really hate working real delts. After I do my pressing, my front raises, my side raises, I just half-ass the fucking real delts because I hate them so much. But real delts are very important. That's going to give you that round look. Honestly, people say it's all about the side delts. You need all three delts, all three heads of the delt to be developed if you want that round look. You get what I'm saying? That when you stand to the side, you need rear. When you stand to the front, you need the side. When you do your back poses, that front delt scoops over. So that's going to give you a round look on your, even your front pose. When you front pose, that front delt is sticking out. People say side. No, all three heads need to be developed. And real delts is one of the most neglected heads. So I can go first, just get them the fuck out the way. Same with calves. For the longest, for at least a year straight, I would do calves first before I start squatting on legs. Cause I really hated working calves. After working legs, I would just half ass my calf raises, maybe do three sets and go home. And I had shitty fucking calves. Now, I love training calves. So, you know, food for thought. If you hate working a body part and it's lagging, just go ahead and kill it first. So here we go. Triple drop set, baby. Go smash these bitches. Just because I'm cutting, don't mean I fucking train like a little bitch. Train exactly the same way. Just let the diet and cardio do the job. Here we go. Ha! One. 12 to 15 reps. Two. Three. Four. Every rep, I want to squeeze. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. 
seven. Don't squeeze, it does not count. Eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Immediately dropping my two plates, get as many as I can get. Two more plates, bang it out. Ugh. Ah. Getting kind of toasty in here, man. I have to come out this motherfucker. I just want to wear it a few more clips, man, because when they see me in it looking good, I'm like, I'm gonna buy one too. See, I, this is marketing for your ass. Yeah, I wore this bitch in a workout video. You're like, man, maybe if I buy one of those, I'll be in great shape too. See, mm -hmm. got him. <laughs> That's that Mimi dude that we do. That Mimi doing this. <laughs> Wear it and make him wanna buy it. <laughs> but real shit though, go buy 30. Man, real shit, man. Bruno needs some dog food, man. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, we're doing real Del Rose, okay? Like I told you, go watch that real Del video. I'm not gonna go all the detail, okay? Watch the video. We're doing 12 reps, four sets. Bam, 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 nice and control, bam, nice control, squeeze, squeeze. All right, homies and home mess, third exercise right here for my shoulder part of my workout is going to be side raises. People ask me all the time how to do them. And be honest with you guys, I've done them several, several ways. And first of all, if you don't agree with me, that is fine. I didn't ask for your fucking opinion anyway, but you don't agree with me, there's no need to go in my comment section talking shit to me on my channel. I didn't ask for your fucking opinion. This is my channel. I'm just pretty much showing what I've learned and I'm trying to help my people. If your opinion, if you, if, you, if you feel so strong about your opinion, start your own goddamn channel. Let me cover your fucking videos and watch them. It's just that fucking simple. But don't expect me to read a comment and give a shit, okay? See, the thing about me is, I don't necessarily get mad at comments. I, I think everybody has a right to their opinion. It's just that when people say their shit with so much conviction, like, you're supposed to give a shit, that will piss me <laughs> off. You know what I mean? It pisses me off that you feel like your opinion matters so much that I should give a shit. That bothers me. You know, people that shit all caps too. All caps mean you're screaming. Like, that pisses me off. Like, I don't care. Everybody has an opinion. I have opinion about everything. But you don't see me commenting. So goddamn right as American. Yeah. Freedom of speech. Yeah, freedom of speech, freedom and of peace. Freedom of not give a Just shit. Just don't expect me to give a shit. You know, that's all I'm saying. So, with that said, the side lateral raise is not a natural movement. Meaning, there's, I mean, I hope not anyway. I hope there's not a situation that comes in, in real life that you're going to have to have your arm straight out like this. You know what I mean? So this is not a natural movement. Meaning, this uh, lateral head of the shoulder is very weak. You know what I mean? See, muscles like the lats, you know, muscles like the abs, those are being used all the time. Muscles like the legs, muscles like the calves. But the lateral head of the shoulder, this is not a natural motion. So you're not going to, it doesn't take a lot of weight to really activate it. You know what I mean? So this, I've, I've seen people, and I've done this, get 50-pound dumbbells, swing it up, yeah, you can move a lot of weight like that, and you're actually hitting the lateral head of your shoulder, but you're also hitting your traps, your lower back, your erectus, which is some of the strongest muscles in the body, are going to assist you. And you can risk hurting your neck, you can risk shoulder impingement, and it's really a vulnerable way to put your uh, shoulder blades in. It leaves your shoulder blades in a vulnerable position when you have your elbows bent like this, rocking with like 50, 60 pounds. So, why not just engage it right? Let me show you how I've been doing my side lateral raises standing for the past eight months. I have been taste testing and sampling all kinds of shoulder exercises to bring these fucking delts up. And this is what's working for me. Ironically, less weight have gave me better gains. So check it out. What I do is, instead of holding the dumbbell right in the middle, causing my wrist to have a whole bunch of, because when you hold it in the middle, you really got to stabilize the weight to keep from shifting like this, so the forearms are going to come in. I have to hold it at the very top. 
Because when I come up, the pinky has no choice but to tilt forward. See, when I, when I hold it like this and I raise my hand, the pinky by default is going to tilt. And that's really going to help activate the side uh, lateral head a little more. So look, I hold it at the very top like this, not in the middle, at the very top. Have my hand slightly in front of me, but don't touch. So I have it here, don't touch, and I raise. Twisted my wrist. Twist my wrist, bam. Twist my wrist, bam. Palms facing the floor. Bam. 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 Now look, it's not coming straight from my side. Okay? Not coming straight from my side. You got that? Yeah. It's not coming straight in front of me. So it's not coming straight to my side. It's not coming straight in front of me, right in the middle. Not in the front, not in the side. I'm going right in the middle, okay? So right in the middle. Not at the front, not at the side, right at the middle. So I have my hands here, and I'm going right in the middle. Bam, twisting my palms. Don't touch, because you'll lose tension. You can't, there's no tension right here. I can hold this position all damn night. All night. But I can't hold this all night. Okay, so hold it here, and bam. Bam, twist. Twist at the top. Twist at the top. You have two more things. One, make sure the wrist is higher than the elbow. Okay, so don't have your elbow like this. Wrist higher than the elbow, okay? You see that? Two, this right here is not high enough. This is parallel with the ground. To really activate those shoulders, come above parallel. Bam. Now we're engaged. This is good. This is good. Parallel with the ground is good. But this is better. Now we're engaged, okay? So let's go. Super set. Here we go. You know what? Yeah, 20 pounds. Four, 20 pounds a day. Here we go. Hands in front and twists. Twist. Twist. So 12, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ooh! My shit's burning, boy. Go over here. Super steps and face pulls. Shirt coming soon. I already know somebody probably paused the video like, man, I want one of those nice ass shirts. Coming soon. If you're watching in the future, if you're watching in the future, guys, we're in stock. But if you're watching in the present, no, we're not in stock. Face pulls, 12 reps. Here we go. One, two, three. All right, homies at home, man. So here we are, man. I know a lot of y'all gonna be like, damn, that was a pretty good shoulder workout, Chris. Man, I can't wait to get home, go try that shit. Oh yeah, real dose some fucking raises, man. No, that was the beginning. Now we're really getting real, okay? So check it out. We're gonna show you seated shoulder presses, okay? With the barbell. Now, big misconception is going wider will get you wide. Which is why you see a lot of guys, they'll grip the bar, and then they'll come with their elbows flared out, They'll stop it about their nose because if they come any lower, they'll probably tear the rotator cuff or they'll pop their shoulder out of socket. They'll stop by right here. Uh, uh. Guys, that does little to nothing. You want to really engage those shoulders, tuck the elbows. Let me see myself in the mirror real quick so I can make sure I'm doing this shit right. All right, make sure you tuck those elbows. Here's your serratus. Tuck them toward the serratus. All right, try to have your elbow in line with your shoulder. Grip the bar about shoulder width. If you're new to the channel, how I always teach people to do shoulder width is this. Raise your arm forward, just like that. Just raise it forward like that. That's your natural shoulder width, right in line with your anterior delt, right in line with your shoulder joint. Just simply raise forward. That's your natural shoulder width. So grip your shoulder width. Now look. When I come down, look at my elbows. See how flared out they are? You want to tuck them. One more time. Get in front of me. Make sure you get a good front view. All right? Check it out. Don't come down like this. That's going to fuck your shoulder up in the long run. 
Just like this. Tuck them. Not like this. Like this. So tuck the elbows. Come below the chin. Pause. Back up. Below the chin. Pause. Back up. 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 All right, baby. All right. Guys, I like to do pyramid setting. What I like to do is start with a light weight. I can get for about 15 to 20 reps. Every set go up. This is like my third set right here. I started with 25, then I went 35, now I'm on a 45. My next two sets, I'm gonna go a 45 and a 10, then I'm gonna go a 45 and a 25. But I'm just gonna record one set because I've done so much fucking talking. I know this video is gonna be long than a motherfucker. <laughs> so here we go, baby. Like I told you, shoulder width, tuck them elbows so you don't fuck your shoulder up, and let's get busy, baby. Fuck! Stop, bam, stop, bam. See the elbows tucked? They're not like this. They're tucked. Not like this, tucked. That's very important, guys. Up, up. All right, homies and home match. This right here is one of my little secrets. Probably shouldn't even be sharing it, but y'all all right, man. This right here is a reverse grip Smith machine press, okay? Just like you're doing shoulder presses, Except for you do a reverse grip. I really feel it just capping off those front delts. So check it out. You go with a reverse grip. You keep your elbows tucked close like so. Like that. Towards your serratus. You come down below the chin. See? Well below the chin. See my chin? And you just press straight up. All the way up. Not like, none of this half rep bullshit. None of that. All the way up. All the way up. I really like this exercise because it takes all the stabilization out. I can really just focus on squeezing my front delts with each and every rep. Now some of you may ask, do you have to do this standing? No, you don't have to do this standing. But keep in mind, I'm five foot seven and I can stand up here and not have to worry about touching the top of this thing. I got my brother, he's five foot nine and he can do this standing as well. So you know, if you're touching the top, there's no problem sitting down. I just feel like it's more comfortable and I feel it to be more natural when I'm able to stand up in this motherfucker. If I, if I have to sit down, it just doesn't feel as comfortable for me. But if you're too tall, then yeah, sit the fuck down. So here we go, do it again with some more weight on here. See, when I'm standing up, I can get close to the thing. I don't have to worry about the seat being too close or being too far away. I know standing up, I'm in position. Okay, I stand up, I'm up in this motherfucker, and I bam, nice and smooth. Squeeze the top, squeeze, squeeze. All right, homies and homies, we're about to do side cable raises. Very similar to the dumbbell version, it's just we're using a cable, because for one, our shoulders are pretty exhausted, and two, it takes a lot of that stabilization out, and we can just really focus on contracting that head. I like to do two exercises for the side delts, all right? So here we go. Real simple, nice and controlled. Just hold it in front of you, not here, because there's no tension. So keep it about right here. Bring it this here. This is not high enough. Remember like I told you with the dumbbells. Now we're high enough, okay? This is not high enough. That's parallel with the ground. Now we're high enough, okay? So look, easy, going 12 reps. Two, nice and smooth. Really put your mind into the shoulder. Really feel that middle head, that lateral head. Really feel it. it. Hey, you might look stupid closing your eyes, but fuck it, man. Really get engaged into that head. Really get engaged. All right, homies and homies, this is the last shoulder movement. These are front raises. I'm pretty sure you've seen front raises done, cables, all types of ways. I've been doing it this way, and I absolutely love it. So when you do front raises standing, and don't say you don't, 85% of people do it. When you get tired, you throw in some hip swing to get it up. You know, people go swing it up, kind of contract and sling it down. That can injure the shoulder and honestly take a lot of tension off. This is what I've been doing. Have the bench pretty high, above 45 degrees, okay? Have it above 45 degrees, make sure it's stable and sturdy, and just lean on it. See this? My upper body 
is taken out of the situation. Let your arms hang and just bring it up. Pause, back down. Pause, back down. Notice how I twist and I have my palm facing the ground. You can do it with your palms down or you can do it this way. Palms facing each other in a neutral position, hammer style. I like hammer style, just like this, because it takes a lot of stress off my joints and I actually feel it more in my front delt. See, look. So you can do it your way. Try it like this for one set and then try it my way for one set. Make sure you get a squeeze at the top, squeeze, back down. Squeeze, back down. Squeeze, back down. All right? See, the front delts, like I said earlier, is a very important part of the shoulder. Because when you do a front last spread, that front delt needs to be capped. Front double bicep, that front delt needs to be capped. Back double bicep, that front delt needs to be capped. Very important motion. But why am I only doing one isolation movement. I've done two for my side delts and I've done three for my rear. Because the front delts get so much work when you're bench pressing, it gets work when you're doing your dips, it gets a lot of work when you're doing your shoulder. Actually, when you're doing shoulder presses, that's pretty much all front delt. Except when you're doing arm presses. Whole other topic for a whole other video. So there's no need to do a whole bunch of isolation work for front delts. Just touch them a little bit, make sure we get a little extra metabolic uh, fatigue on them and call it a day. All right, that's my shoulder portion of my shoulders and arm workout. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a like and share with a friend on Facebook to help me grow my army. Also, be sure to go to beachmojonescoaching.com if you want to get my four days on, one day off program a try. It goes like this leg day, the next day, chest and tries, the next day, back and traps. And then it's today, which is shoulders and arms. That's shoulders, biceps, and triceps. Take a day off, do it all over again. All right? Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like my shit. Comment and subscribe. Buy 30 of them bitches. Holler back at your boy.